Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, SAP with Harsh. Uh, it's been quite some time I have posted new videos. So here I am. Um, today we are going to talk about co-product planning in the embedded PPDS in S4HANA. So uh, the requirement from few clients and few of my previous clients was that, hey, I want to do co-product planning as well. So as all of you might have know uh, that co-products will be only produced when you do the good recept from the uh, main products right so you maintain the minus two quantity and then um, when you do the gr it also helps you to do the uh, gr of the co-product right so there is no separate planning uh, we do it's mainly used in the uh, biotherapeutics uh, area of uh, um, uh, products where they need to uh, check the components as well uh, because they have a lot of testing going on for the new products for the approvals right so with the main product they also take up the uh, core products so that that is one of the scenarios so goal of this video will be to tell you end-to-end -end scenario uh, from execution from the data in the PPDS site I will not be covering data from the PP point of view that uh, I can create a separate video if you demand uh, do let me in comments all right so prerequisite of um, the video or the scenario would be I should be having a co-product sorry a main product along with a co-product relationship maintained um, in the material master along with that we should also maintain in the bomb i will show you the bomb structure any which ways right um then you should be having a production version uh, which will be transferred to the uh, ppds side as pds product data structure i have mentioned the transaction code as well so whenever the production version is ready at the end we move that using curto adv underscore create and we choose for the first time if we are moving we choose absolute transfer so let's go in the system and see uh, how to uh, execute the scenario all right i have already made a ppds folder for myself where i have added all the tiles uh, if you don't see the folder you can always type in the uh, search field for those fury apps <clears throat> so First of all, let us see the bomb structure and the product that we are going to use, the material codes. So I'm using COFG01 as a finished product. 1710 is my plant and bomb usage is one for production. Here I, you can see there is a core product and then we have a core raw material, core product raw material. Like I mentioned, we mentioned uh, the core product as minus two quantity. And if I go to the item level and scroll down, I can see the core product has been activated. All right. So this setup is a prerequisite for uh, running uh, any core product scenario. Now uh, the PDS transfer I was talking about. So this will be a transaction used. You need to enter the uh, planning version, your material code. And then if you go down, you will have absolute transfer. And then make sure you are not in the test mode, else your PDS uh, will not be transferred successfully. Now, once the PDS is transferred, you can validate that if it has come as required so that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, so I have COFG01, location is 1710, and my planning version is 000. So once I execute, here you can see it's a green light. That means it has been successfully uh, transferred to my embedded PPDS from PP. And then I have the product numbers, finished good, a core product and raw material. And you should always look into IO output, input output type, that master output should be your uh, primary product. And then your core product will be your output and the input will of course be your uh, raw material. 
so this is how you can validate it so the next uh, thing that we are going to do is let's go in the product view where we can maintain uh, the demand or you also know it as uh, PIRs I have already done it which I will explain So here I have already executed some scenario. Let me quickly remove it. So once I remove the plan orders from the finished product, it will be automatically removed at my go product level. And I need to just click on save and then we can talk about it. All right, so here you can see, uh, look at the dates, okay? And uh, the minus quantity is explaining that this uh, will work as a demand uh, if you enter it in PPDS. So I have entered in the October month on 19th and then I have entered the forecast on 9th, which is September the 20th, okay? With 20 quantity and 100 quantity each. And then if I go to the raw uh, the co-product side, then here also on 16-9-2023, I have entered one demand, uh, which is like 145 quantities, okay? So the agenda of this end-to-end uh, -end scenario will be that uh, my 145 demand, the PIR forecast, whatever you would like to say, will be also planned along with the demand which I have it at finished good level. Okay, so this 20 and 100 should be also planned along with 145. So to run the co product scenario in EPPDS, we have a fixed or I would say a standard uh, heuristic that I will show you. So if you go to a variable heuristic and you do a drop down, go a little down, and then you have SAP PP17017, and this is for the co products. Select this. You don't have to do any other selection at the bottom, but you need to click on products and make sure your co product is also part of this run. So once you click on this, I will bring the co-product and then I will click on run the heuristic. I will say adopt for the finished good. Again, adopt for the co-product. So once it's executed, you will see the green lights right for the co-product scenario. You can go to the planning log. And if you wish, you can expand and see if your PDS was exploded properly. Right here, you can see CUFG and my uh, co-product. They both are exploded. Explosion quantity also you can see. Now, one step back, we need to evaluate the run. Okay. Here you can see I got three different plan orders. As soon as I click on save, you will see the numbers which will be generated and those numbers will be also part of my MD04 screen, the stock requirement screen on the PP side. Let me save it and then I will explain you the quantities. All right, here you can see 3004, 3005, 3006. I will open the uh, co-product side by side so that we can compare. shouldn't take long time but let's see okay now now it's coming up so I will write PRD01 and here you can see the same numbers 3004 3005 3006 
I'll just show you once again, 3, 3, 0, 0, 4, 5, and 6. And then you will have 3, 4, and 5, sorry, 4, 5, and 6, along with 0, 0, 1, okay? So what exactly has happened here? I told you that if I have this 145 as my demand, there will be also a plan for that which I can see there is a plan order created, right? And then there is uh, 54 and then there is 40, right? So from where this is coming, right? We need to evaluate that. So for this, if you notice the dates, 1910, and then I have 169, right? My demand is on 169, and then there is a requirement also on 169, right? So for this, if I go to the finished product, you can see there is a plan order created on 16.9 as well, right? My demand is on 29 and then I had a demand on 19.10. So I can understand these two plan orders are created for covering my demand. But why this is created? This is created because there is a plan coming from the co-product, okay? This 145 quantity has been created because there was a demand of 145. So if I open the calculator for you and we divide 145 by 2. Why we are doing 145 by 2? Because that's where we have maintained that for each finished product, there will be two co-products will be uh, created, right? as per the bomb so if i divide 145 by 2 i get 72.5 the value of 72.5 cannot be stored as a plan order so system has round off to 73 okay so now i have 73 and there was a demand of 100 so the remaining quantity will be 27 right it does not x uh, plan surplus that hey if you have 100 then this is coming from the co-product and the remaining will be 27 right so if you multiply 27 by 2 it will be 54 correct so this 54 you can see is coming from my finished product. So this has gone to the finished product and 54 as coming from the finished product, right? And now this is on 29, let's see. Here I have demand on 29, the plan order 27, the dates are in sync. Now there was a demand on 1910, the October demand, right? So I have 20, system has created me a plan order for 20. Now this 20 multiplied by two becomes 40, and then you can see uh, on 1910, there is a demand of 40, okay? So here the explanation is very clear that these two values of plan order is coming from my finished good. System has planned this 145, which has gone back to the finished product. And then it has uh, checked the total demand and minus the quantity for that particular month and created 27. Right. So I hope now you have got the understanding of uh, how the system is planning, what are the significance of dates, if it's the same month or different month, how system is behaving, how plan orders are created. Right. And if, if I want, I can show you that this demand is also uh, triggered to MD04. Okay, let's go to MD04. Here you can see the plan orders. Same plan orders are coming in, right? So you can start converting them to production order and then complete your goods issue, goods accept, and then deliver to the customers, right? So this is the end-to-end -end scenario that I wanted to uh, talk about today. Uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. Hope you have a nice evening.
and i will see you in the next video do comment and let me know what did you like what did you uh, not understand if any clarifications are required